Shabbat Shalom. I want to give all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh The double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And salutation to all the Akim out there preaching his word and sincerity and the truth. And today I want to get into a lesson on the Lord coming with fire. The Lord coming to bring fire on the earth and to punish the earth for his wickedness, you know, because the earth is out of control. The so called white man, known as the Edomites, have. Uh, brought wickedness on the earth on the high on the highest level and they must be stopped you know like it tells you in Matthew the 24th chapter if, if he don't cut the time short then shall no flesh be saved but for the elect's sake he's gonna cut the time short so we're living in a great time where the earth is gonna see the Lord you know they gonna see Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Yahweh Shai come out the power uh, out the clouds with great power and great glory with the innumerable amount of angels to bring judgment to this earth you know and to set things in order you know, and I'm gonna bring out this first scripture. This is um, Second Ezra 13 and 29. It says, "Behold, the days come when the Most High will begin to deliver them that are upon the earth." Which is talking about the elect, the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. It says, "And he shall come to the astonishment of them that dwell on the earth." So it says, "He shall come to the astonishment." of them that dwell on the earth you know pretty much it's going to be a great surprise to these people because these people that are in the world they're not expecting the lord to come back they're not expecting you know uh, they 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 lives to be changed you know for 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 martial law to happen for all these calamities to come on the earth you know if you look at these people when you're on your day-to-day -day route in life you look at them they they in the in a, in a murph state they in the in a in a in a proud state they they're they not looking for the lord to return you know so, so it's going to come to their astonishment when it actually happens, when they actually see the Lord coming out the clouds. And they're going to be shocked at the fact that he's a black man, you know, because the whole world has been deceived into thinking that the Lord, who the world ignorantly, ignorantly calls Jesus Christ as a white man, which, which according to the Bible, he's a black man. And they're going to find that out, you know, when the Lord returns. It says, and he shall come to the astonishment of them that dwell on the earth. And one shall undertake and fight against another, one city against another, one people against another. It says, one people against another, and one realm against another. So pretty much, it was explaining it's going to be race riots taking place, cities fighting against cities, people against people. This race versus that that race. You know, it's going to be all hell breaking loose, and it says one realm against another. So that's talking about. When the Lord comes out the fourth dimension to the third dimension to fight this realm, you know, to, to fight these uh, uh, these other nations. Because really, the Lord is going to put the, put the spirit on these other nations to join together and fight the Lord when they see him come out the clouds with power and great glory, you know. Because the Lord, when he comes back, he's coming back as an angelic force. He's not coming back as as, as he did 2,000 years ago when he came back humble. He came back as a, as a as the lamb in that time. But now he's coming back as the lion, the, the lion, the lion of Judah, you know, that fierce lion. This is Isaiah 47 and 3. It says, Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Yea, thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance and I will not meet thee as a man. So he's not going to meet these uh, nations as a man. He's going to come back as an angelic force. He's coming back with that spiritual power. He's coming back with the innumerable amount of angels to basically bring judgment to this earth for the wickedness that the earth is pushing, you know, and for the enslavement of, of his people, the Israelites, the blacks, the Latinos, and the Native Americans. He's coming to deliver the elect of his nation and to set up a righteous kingdom on the earth. And this is Isaiah 66 and 15. It says, For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and is rebuked with flames of fire. So the Lord is coming back to render his anger with fury and rebuke with flames of fire. So he's going to rebuke these people with flames of fire. Like they showed you in that movie, War of the, War, War of the Worlds. They were shooting them um, chariots. The UFOs came out and started shooting them laser beams and turning the people into powder. That's actually going to happen. That's actually in the scriptures. In the book of 2nd Ezra, the 13th chapter, which I was just read, reading out of. They know, the, the elites that run this planet Earth, they know that this Bible is real and they know that these things are going to take place. That's why they put them in their movies and they call it they call it hidden in plain sight. 
which to the elect and to the to the to the minds that the Lord the Lord is open is not hidden to us. You know, we can see it plain as day. We know that these things are gonna take place, and we have faith that we're gonna see it take place. You know, it says. Verse 16, for by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh, and the slain of the Lord shall be many. So the slain of the Lord is going to be many. A, a lot of these people are going to get put to death out here, you know, when these chariots return on the earth. It's, it's not going to be a beautiful day, like they say, woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord to win it. What in is it for you, the day of the Lord? It's darkness and not light. It's, it's going to be a dark, gloomy day. When the Lord returns on the earth and they see that he's a black man and he's furious, these people are going to be terrified, you know. Instead, all things trembled that were under him. So when they see the Lord, they're going to be trembling because they're not going to know what, what's going on, you know. Because for the to, for for years upon years, Esau has pushed this doctrine of, of UFOs being little green men and aliens, which is all bullshit. They're the top elites. They know that that's the way the Lord is going to return on the earth. And there's all types of sightings. You can, you can log on YouTube, type in UFO sightings. You see all types of sightings throughout the uh, earth. So... There's all types of evidence showing you that these things exist and that they're coming to bring judgment, you know. And this is um, this is uh, this is Isaiah 26 and 21. For behold, the Lord cometh out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity. They said the Lord cometh out of his place, which is the fourth dimension to this to the earth, to punish them for their iniquity. So that these people. All the sins that, that's reaching up to the heavens, they thinking that they're going to go on forever. Like it says, their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever. No, the Lord is, 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 has, has the angels taking tabs on your, on, your, on your wickedness. And it's being brought to the Heavenly Father. And he's, and he's, he's got a judgment for you, you know. Some of you going to die in a famine. Some of you going to die in a race riot. Some of you going to die in concentration camps. Some of you going to die uh, via gunfire, however the Lord has it. And some of you going, the Lord has preserved for them chariots, you know, them chariots are going to get down, you know, that's part of the plagues that the Lord is going to bring on the earth. Because we always speak about all hell breaking loose, but that's a major part before the, before the final judgment, which is the nuclear fire, them chariots is going to bring fire. It says, it says, the earth also shall disclose her blood and shall no more cover her slain. So the earth is going to disclose her blood. It's going to be a lot of death, you know, the Lord is bringing death on this earth. And he's, and he's bringing life too Because everything that the Lord does Is, is balanced, Every, it's twofold He's bringing death to the wicked And life to the righteous Because the elect are going to be sealed And they're going to be beamed up in them chariots And they're going to meet the Lord in the air Forever will they be with the Lord So this is a, 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 a glorious time for the righteous and, and a terrible time for the wicked And this, I'm going to bring this out This is um, Zechariah 5 and, and 1 and this is the prophet Zechariah prophesying about the chariots. He said, Then I turned and lifted up my eyes and looked, and behold, a flying rope. And he said unto me, What seest thou? And I answered, I see a flying rope. So he described it the best way he could, he could describe the chariot. He, he described it as a rope, you know. He says, The length thereof is 20 cubits, and the breadth thereof is 10 cubits. Then he said unto me, this is the curse that goeth over the face of the whole earth. For everyone that stilleth shall be cut off as on this side according to it. And everyone that sheweth sure shall be cut off as on this side according to it. So that so the prophet Zechariah saying, this is the curse that goeth over the face. Pretty much uh, the angel is telling them. It says, then said he unto me, this is the curse that goeth over the face of the, of the whole earth. So the chariots is a curse to these people in the world, you know. It's a curse to them because it's coming to, it's coming to their to their destruction. But to the elect, it's coming for their salvation, you know. So it's twofold. Because on one end, they're going to bring fire. And on another end, they're going to bring salvation, you know. And pretty much, that's what we're looking forward to, Lord's will. If we be part of that elect to be in being the body here and, and, and meet and be with the Lord, you know. And this is um, this is Isaiah 63 and 1. It says, Who is this that cometh from Edom with dyed garments from Basra? So pretty much it's symbolic for the Lord. The, the amount of blood that he's going to bring on the earth is like his garments is dyed with, with, um, with blood. You know, it says, Who is this that cometh from Edom with dyed garments from Basra? Basra is a city located in Edom. And we know that Edom represents the Edomites. 
So the Lord is coming to bring death and destruction to the Edomites, to the wicked of the earth, these so-called white people. It says, this that is glorious in its apparel, traveling in the greatness of its strength. I that speak in righteousness, mighty to save. Wherefore art thou red in thine apparel, and thy garments like him that treadeth in the wine fat? So his garment is like one that treads in the wine fat. Now we know the wine fat back in the ancient days, you know, when they made the wine, they would actually stomp on the grapes with their feet, and the, and, the, and the juice of the grapes would get on their garments. So the Lord is using that as a metaphor. The, the amount of blood that he's going to be, he's going to bring is like he actually is treading in the wine fat, like he's uh, stomping on grapes. And everybody know when that grape, when that wine get on your, uh, let's say you got a white t-shirt, that wine ain't going nowhere. That's per You got to throw that shirt away, you know? So that's symbolic for the amount of death the Lord is going to bring. It says, I have trodden the winepress alone, and of the people there was none with me. For I would tread them in my anger, and trample them in my fury, and their blood shall be sprinkled upon my garment, and I will stain all my remnant. For the day of vengeance is in my heart, and the year of my Redeemer is come. So it said, the day of vengeance is in the Lord's heart. He's in the spiritual world, meditating on coming back and bringing judgment to this earth, bringing, in, bringing righteousness and punishing these wicked ass people and putting them back in order, putting these nations back in their place, which is beneath us, setting up the elect as the righteous of the earth, the righteous rulers of the planet earth, and putting these nations back in their order, destroying the two thirds that rejected them, that uh, said crucify them, crucify them, destroying those two men, um, uh, Roman soldiers that pierced them. Matter of fact, I'm going to finish that up, then I'm going to get that. I'm going to finish this up real quick. It says, For the day of vengeance is in my heart, and the year my Redeemer has come. And I looked, and there was none to help. And I wondered that there was none to uphold. Therefore, my own arm brought salvation unto me, and my fury it upheld me. And I would tread them, I would tread down the people in my anger, and make them drunk in my fury. And I will bring down their strength to the earth. So that's what the Lord is going to do. He's going to tread the people down in his anger and make them drunk in his fury. And he will bring them down their strength to the earth, which is talking about their power. He's going to bring down all these nations around the planet earth that has, has gotten power on the earth. All these nations, Russia, China, you know, the nations that survived the nuclear destruction, he's going to bring them down in his anger and in his fury and he's going to put them in slavery you know and he's going to put these Edomites in slavery for a thousand years and exterminate them after they after they sentence and that's what we're looking forward to to the return of the Lord you know it's a dreadful day it's an evil day to these to the to the wicked and it's a glorious day to the righteous you know and this is um this is revelations this is revelations I'll end it on this. This is Revelations. Well, there's all types of scriptures speaking on the on the return of the Lord and the chariots. The chariots have been mentioned throughout all throughout history. You can look in history books throughout um, th different civilizations. The chariots have always made their appearance, you know. And we're getting ready to see the, the the grand finale, the greatest appearance, when you see them up close and personal when them laser beams come on these these wicked ass people. But this is Revelations 1 and 7. It says, Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him. And all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. Even so, amen. It says, Every eye shall see him. So from, from everywhere on the planet earth, you're going to see the Lord because he's coming back with the innumerable amount of angels to deliver his elect, and they're going to be doing, um, bringing judgment. It says, and they also which pierced him. So them two Roman soldiers that pierced him when he was on the cross, they gonna get it when that time come. He got he has a, a judgment for them too. It says that all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. So they gonna wail. They gonna be screaming, crying. They gonna be they it's, it's gonna be an astonishment to him. What the, what's going on? What the, what, what the hell is this? They gonna know the Lord has returned. You know. But I'm a, this is the last scripture. This is uh Matthew's twenty four. And 30, and then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, and then shall all the tribes, tribes of the earth mourn, like we read in Revelation 1 and 7, they go mourn, it says, 
and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. So the whole earth is going to see the Lord return. It says, and he shall send his angels with a great sound of the trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from, from the four winds, from one end of heaven, this heaven to the other. So that's what the Lord is going to do when he covers the earth. They're going to gather together his elect from one end of the earth to the other because the elect has been scattered through the four corners of the earth. So like I said, it's twofold. On one end, he's bringing death and destruction to the wicked, to the ungodly, to the unrighteous, to two-thirds of his people that didn't want to take heed to the prophets when they, they were told to, to repent and come back and repent from their sins. They're going to get it, you know. And then the, the right, the um, the, the other nations, they're going to get it. They're going to be put back in their place as as slaves under the, the, the nation of Israel. And then we're going to be set up as the governors of the earth. The Lord's will, we be part of that elect. And then the earth is going to be set back in, in its course, you know. So it's twofold. On one end, it's for righteousness, for to set up a, a righteous kingdom. And on another end, the, he's bringing death to the wicked. So, you know, that's what we're looking forward to, the return of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh you know, Yahweh Shai coming back with the innumerable mind of angels and setting this earth in order, you know. So with that, I want to say all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh And you know, death to America, Shalom.